Good morning guys, I have all my stuff ready here to make my lemon water. I'm gonna show you step by step how I do it. This is my electric kettle that has a thermometer. Um, I got it at Linen Chest, you can buy it at mostly, I think they even have it at Walmart. I take my Brita, I fill it up about two and a half cups just so I have a little bit extra. And I turn it on. I always like to set it to 50 degrees so it's not too hot, it's not too cold. You can see now that the water is at 11 degrees and it's slowly going to go up to 50. When it's ready, it's going to chime. So here's pretty much my daily setup. I always use a cutting board because I don't want to ruin my stone. And what I do is I take half a lemon, I cut off the back of it. The reason why I do that is that I just find that when I do it this way, I get a lot more juice out of the lemon. Here is my favorite contraption of life, my lemon squeezer, my, up oh, there's my water that's ready. All of this will be linked in the description below where to buy it. I also have my stainless steel straw. The reason why I use a stainless steel straw is because I am trying to protect the enamel on my teeth. I'm doing this every single day. This is very acidic and it can eat away at the enamel on your teeth. So using a stainless steel straw protects your teeth. Last but not least, I have my pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna go over it in the segment as to why I use sea salt in my water. And I'm obviously gonna in the segment talk about why I do the whole thing every morning. So now that my water is at 50 degrees, I'm gonna take my cup, my glass, pour in pretty much two cups of water. I don't know why I'm putting that in the sink. Take my lemon squeezer, open it up, I do it this way, so I put the open side down toward the holes and then the other side up. And then we just simply squeeze. You guys usually see this from the other side of the camera. Today you're seeing it this way. Squeeze, open it up. As you can see, the lemon is pretty much done there. I then toss it in the garbage, grab my pink Himalayan sea salt, do a couple shakes, about a teaspoon, and then I grab my stainless straw, stir it up, and I drink. So even though you've seen it like 9,000 times on my Instagram story, I just showed you how I make my lemon water every single morning. It is one of my, well, it's really my morning ritual, and if I don't do it, I just don't feel complete. I go on vacation all the time, or go on trips all the time, but there's one thing that I will always do consistently, and that's lemon water. When I'm in town, which is most of the time, I always add in some sea salt or Himalayan salt. And basically what I'm gonna do today is just tell you why, because I know a lot of you are already doing it because it's a really easy thing to incorporate into your like daily routine, but I feel like a lot of you don't really know why, and it's still something that I get asked all the time, like, what's that white powder that you're putting into your water? Why do you have lemon water every morning? What's the benefits? Yes, I kind of feel right now like a broken record because I feel like I've just talked about it so much and it's like the one thing that I consistently show every single day, but I still feel like I need to tell you all the benefits of it, why I take it and why it's so important because I really want you to understand why it's so important also to be consistent with it and to do it every day. A lot of people will message me and say, what's like one or two things that I can do to start being healthier? What are two things um, that are attainable, that are easy to do, that don't cost a lot of money that I can do? And lemon water is always my number one go-to answer because something so simple as lukewarm water mixed with lemon and sea salt, if if you wish, the sea salt part is sort of like an added thing that you can choose to do or not do. Hopefully after this video, you'll understand why it's important to do it and why I do it. You wouldn't think that something as simple as lemon water would make such a difference, but it does. And once you do it, and once you stick to it, and you see, wow, like I have so much more energy, or wow, my digestion feels better, or whatever it is that you're gonna get from it, seeing those benefits come into play quickly makes you wanna take other steps little small steps into getting healthier. And that's what it's all about. It's not about changing up your routine overnight, becoming this like health freak overnight. It's not about that. It's about making little changes that add up to big changes eventually. And the first thing to do is take the first step. And this is always what I suggest as a first step. It's something that's so simple to do. It's something that's affordable. It's something that everybody can benefit. You don't need to be a certain age. It's really straightforward and simple. So. With that being said, let me get into all the amazing benefits that drinking lemon water every morning has to offer you. 
this is my YouTube channel. So any segment that I do um, when I'm telling you why I do it or what it is and what the benefits are, before I just get into things that you could just Google online, I always like to tell my personal story uh, and how I got there or why I started doing it. Lemon water is something that I feel like a lot of people do. Um, it's like a very normal thing that people do in the morning, especially in the health world. It's something that I always did sort of do or dabble in, but I was never like super, super consistent with it. I actually used to wake up and like instantly have an espresso. Now thinking back, that's really insane that the first thing I was putting into my body was coffee and not like water. How it all really started for me is, I've talked about this before, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I had uh, gastro, so I had a really bad flu about a year and a half ago in the Dominican Republic, and because of that flu, I was super dehydrated, and I fainted, and I smashed my chin, and when I smashed my chin, um, I guess I had, it was a really hard fall, and I'm like five foot eight and a half, and I fell from standing to a marble floor, smashed my chin, broke a few teeth, um, and I actually had a concussion that I didn't deal with or know that I had. When I got back from this trip, my digestion was completely off. And that's because after I fainted and after this whole thing happened, they put me on antibiotics. So everything in my gut was sort of off. And I didn't know what to do because my digestion, like I would eat and after every meal, I would just instantly be bloated. I could have eaten like the cleanest, healthiest meal and I would still be bloated. So my digestion was really, really bad and I was suffering. And I would even wake up in the morning and feel bloated and just uncomfortable. And the number one thing online that I would read to help digestion throughout the day was to drink lemon water every morning as like the base and start of your day. I had already sort of known about it, but I was like, let me do this consistently. Let me do it the right way. I was always doing it in the past with like cold water or boiling water. And this time I was like, no, I'm gonna start doing it with the lukewarm water. I did it just lemon and water for over a year. And then I started adding in the sea salt when more research came into play. I did notice instantly that my digestion started to get better. I started to feel better. The second I would drink it, I had energy. It was one of the things that really made me want to get healthier and want to research more and want to find out more natural, super simple ways to feel better in my own body. So that's why I always suggest it as like a first step. Number one, like, primary reason to drink it in the morning, um, other than all the benefits I'm about to mention, is you're waking up your organs. You've just been sleeping for, I don't know, let's say seven hours, eight hours, nine hours, and your organs have been sleeping too. You haven't put anything into your body all night. The best thing to do is to have lukewarm lemon water. And people will always write me, why can't I do it cold? Why can't I do it hot? What's with the lukewarm? Well, think of it this way. Would you like to be woken up in the morning with a huge glass of freezing cold water on your face, or would you rather it be more of a lukewarm temperature? I'm sure you would rather be more of a lukewarm temperature if you were gonna get splashed by water when you got woken up. So it's the same thing with your organs. If you start drinking freezing cold water first thing, you're waking up your body with freezing cold water. Your organs are probably gonna be like, like sort of like tense up, like that's what we do in cold water. If you jumped into a freezing cold pool, you'd be like, it's not really comfortable and it's not really a nice way to wake up your organs. So that's the first thing that I wanted to sort of go over. I always do two cups of water because my glasses are like that size. Feel free to do whatever you want. You don't have to overdo it either. A cup is more than enough. Um, but you're also getting that first cup of water in the morning. You're starting your day off with hydration, with water. And then when you're adding in the lemon to it, that's where the benefits really come in. So number one benefit I would say is the vitamin C that lemon has to offer. In half of a lemon, you're getting 50% of your daily intake, your needed daily intake of vitamin C. So that's super amazing. Like in the first, you know, 20 minutes that you wake up, you're getting in two cups of water and you're getting in all of this vitamin C. Vitamin C works the same way as it does topically, as it does inside your body. It helps boost collagen. It's really good at helping you not get sick. It helps with digestion, that young and youthful glow. Other than vitamin C, one of like the number one reasons why I really love to drink lemon water is, as I mentioned earlier, it really helps aid in digestion. Basically, the way that it works, and I again, don't wanna to get too scientific, is that the acidity in lemon and, and lemon juice in general has a very similar makeup to the digestive juices that our stomach has, and that helps food sort of pass along through our digestive system easier. And what it does is it kind of tricks your liver into thinking that it's bile. So. Through, I don't want, again, like, I don't know how to explain this in a really non-scientific way, but it's basically tricking your liver into thinking that, like, your stomach is producing this really good digestive acid, and it's just helping your digestion work better, and in turn, your liver works better, which helps your metabolism work better. So everything is sort of just working better, literally based off of having half a lemon a day and some water. Aside from the digestion and the vitamin C, which are, like, two really important factors and benefits of having the lemon water every day, 
Drinking lemon water seriously helps drain your lymphatic system. It really helps get the toxins out of your body. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I'm like really keen on eliminating toxins whenever I can. The world was not meant for like cars, trains, trucks, whatever, all the crap. Our environment is toxic. Even if you're trying as hard as you can to detoxify, even if you live the healthiest life, Cars break every day. There's nothing you can do. Uh, there's toxins everywhere. So the most that you can do to detoxify your body, you should. You combine the fact that lemons have tons of vitamin C and you combine the fact that lemon water helps drain your lymphatic system and release toxins. Together, you have something that's obviously gonna really help you from getting sick. So if you're someone who gets sick often or if you have kids and your kids are in daycare or in schools where they're always you know, contact, in contact with germs, I think starting your day with lemon water is even more important to boost your immune system. Another really good benefit of drinking lemon water every morning is that it fights inflammation in the body. Again, don't want to sound like a broken record, but anything we can do to fight inflammation in our bodies, we should because inflammation is the root cause to everything. Funny enough, I had a conversation with somebody today, I was getting my nails done, and she was talking about how this woman in her 50s was diagnosed with cancer and that it was so sad. And then she kind of said, you know, it's so sad, but she really didn't take care of herself. She smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. She drank every day. Again, I'm not telling you to be the most boring person in the world. I'm just saying that if you know better, you do better. So if you can prevent possibly getting sick, I'm not just saying that drinking lemon water every morning is gonna be the reason that you may or may not one day get some terrible disease or get cancer, God forbid, or anything like that. I'm just saying that anything we can do to prevent these things from happening, why wouldn't we do them? So. Something as simple as adding lemon water to your morning is a preventative measure to take for your health. Do it, it's super simple. I just wanna go over something. I get asked so many times, can I put like fresh organic lemon juice from a bottle that I buy in a store um, into my lemon water instead of squeezing a lemon? And my answer would be no. Your body, your choice, do whatever you want. Do you boo, but I don't suggest it. And that's because I don't care if it's organic, I don't care if it's like the best, lemon juice in the world, it's processed. There's a plant or somewhere, some a plant, I don't know if it's a plant, there's a factory or something somewhere that is juicing lemons for you and then putting into a plastic bottle. To me, that's processed because you're taking extra steps that you don't need to take. I just don't find it that hard to, when you do your groceries every week, go buy a couple lemons and keep them in your house. What I do is I'll keep like six or seven lemons in my fridge, and the night before, I'll take out one so that it's at room temperature in the morning. Very simple. Again, everything in life might feel like it's annoying to do. Something like lemon water, which to me is super simple, might be really annoying to everyone else too because it's like, ugh, it's another step in the morning, it's another thing I have to think of. And once you get used to it, you'll just do it and it'll be part of your routine and it's fine. Something else you could use if you don't wanna do um, like actual squeezed lemon and you find it annoying is you can buy lemon essential oils. Those are excellent too. And it actually could even be better sometimes because the lemon peel has so many nutrients. I'm still trying to find ways to incorporate like the lemon zest into my routine. The inside of the lemon has a ton of benefits but the outside of the lemon has even more benefits. I'm not there yet. Um, but hopefully I'll get there and when I do, I would obviously share it. I spoke about this on my Instagram story last week, but having morning rituals, mine being lemon water, bulletproof coffee, doing my skincare routine, and having nightly rituals as well, I find are very important and when I don't do them, my whole day feels like off track. Um, my brother had a baby just recently and I wasn't able to really like do my morning routine and my whole day was discombobulated and I spoke about it on my Insta story and it's just funny because that was sort of the reason why I was like, oh, I really should talk about lemon water because it's such a morning ritual for me. And if I don't start my day like that, my whole day will be thrown off. I just think having a morning ritual and being consistent and being accountable for to do something, at least one thing that is bettering your health and bettering your digestion and everything I just mentioned is just really important and really good for you. Something else you guys will often see me do is drink my lemon water through a stainless steel straw. I showed it to you in the beginning of this video. The reason that I do that is because the water is lukewarm. Um, yes, it's not boiling hot. Yes, it's not like so hot, but I just don't think that using a plastic straw is safe when whenever you're drinking a liquid that is at a warmer temperature. So I always just go for a stainless steel straw. Also, it's better for the environment. Super cheap and easy to find. Uh, I'll write in the description below where I buy mine and where they're available and a link to buy them. I'm gonna go over why I started adding sea salt to my water. Um, I'm always researching, you guys obviously know this. One day I was watching like a live on Instagram with David Wolf, who is like a health pioneer and he's someone that I follow closely. And he basically was saying that one of the best things that you could do for yourself every morning 
is salt water flushes is what they call it. Um, I just already am doing lemon water. He does lemon water every morning and he was like, just add, he really likes Celtic salt. I use Himalayan salt. You can also use sea salt. All three are acceptable. Again, this will all be in the description below. He was basically saying that adding sea salt or Celtic salt or whatever salt to your water in the morning is just so important for your fluid balance and for staying hydrated and detoxifying the body. He believes that detoxifying your body is like the number one thing that we should all be doing. All these doctors and like health gurus that I follow, they all have like different areas of focus and that's why I follow them all differently. We all think about salt in the wrong way. So table salt is horrible. It has iodine in it. It's basically like a refined version of salt and it's like almost like having refined sugar. It's terrible for you. But sea salt and Himalayan salt, which is like filled with minerals uh, and Celtic salt, these are all natural salts from the earth. And the reality is that we need salt. We need good salt. Um, in order to stay hydrated, we need to keep our salt levels sort of up. And we don't need to overdo it either. There has to be that right balance. In the same sense that we all think that salt basically makes us retain water, well, it kind of does. But the right amount of salt helps you hold water. That being said, if you just drink water and you don't have any salts in your system or anything that, you're just gonna keep sort of sweating out your water, peeing it out, whatever. In the same way that salt would cause water retention if you had too much of it, having the right amount will just hold your hydration throughout the day. When I fainted in the Dominican Republic, the story that I talked about earlier in this segment, basically when I went to the hospital, they were like, you have no salt in your system, you need salt. I always was under the impression that when you feel dizzy or when you are like lightheaded, you need sugar. Actually, that's not the truth. You need salt. When they put an IV in your arm, it's salt water. That's really what it is. So don't be confused and don't, like too much salt isn't good. Table salt is terrible, but the right amount of sea salt, of natural salt are actually really important and really, really good for you. Just to go back to the story of when I fainted, basically any time that I would start to get dizzy, like if it was at the gym or if I got up too fast or if it was warm out, any time that I feel dizzy, it would start to give me anxiety and feel like maybe I'm gonna faint because after that one experience fainting, it was like the scariest moment of my life. So adding this salt to my water in the morning like changed everything for me. I'm never lightheaded anymore. I used to literally always stand up and just be like, I need a second and then I'd be fine. But like now that I add salt to my water, I never get lightheaded anymore. I never feel dizzy in the gym. It's really changed a lot for me and it really makes me feel even better than the lemon water did on its own. If you've never tried it, I highly suggest trying it. Again, it's a super inexpensive method. Most of us have sea salt or some sort of natural salt in our homes and if you don't, you should. You should not be using table salt. KGMTL approved or KGMTL disapproves of table salt. But I just feel like why not add it to your water? I promise you it's not gonna make you bloated, it's not gonna make you puffy. If anything, it's gonna have the reverse of it. And the fact that good quality natural salts will keep you hydrated, there are other amazing benefits such as all the minerals that you're gonna get out of the sea salt. They're filled with minerals, helps balance the water and potassium content in your body and sort of like make it last throughout the day. It also really helps detoxify the body and alkalize your body and get your body at the right pH level for the day. It's something that really just goes hand in hand with everything that the lemon water already does. So adding it just seems like the natural step to take because some of the benefits are just so similar and I just think that it enhances each other. If you don't have enough salt in your system, then your digestion and all of the acid in your stomach is not gonna do what I mentioned before, which is just flow through the digestive tract properly. So having those salts, really important, promotes the healthy pH balance in your body, promotes healthy electrolytes in your body, which is gonna help keep you hydrated, not dizzy, all the things that I mentioned. That's pretty much why it helps me. Very good for your heart health. It will help you sleep better. All of the minerals in it are really, really helpful to just keep everything in the body healthy and keep your body and your lymphatic system and everything just working properly, eliminating toxins properly. I put about a teaspoon in the morning and then I know I'm having my salt for the day. If I don't cook that day, if I don't really eat a lot of salt that day, I don't have to worry that I'm gonna become dehydrated, I'm really active, and like that's something that I have to be very concerned of. Again, I don't like getting dizzy, it gives me anxiety. So making sure that I don't get dizzy and I don't ever just reach that point is really important to me. I know a lot of people suffer from something similar as I do because I've talked about it before uh, on Instagram and a lot of you guys have reached out to me and said that you deal with like dizziness all the time and similar things and that the dizziness causes anxiety. So especially if you're one of these people, I really suggest adding the sea salt to your water in the morning. For all the reasons I just mentioned, this is why I have this drink every single morning. For any of you who are wondering why she's so into lemon water and why she's showing us every day, like we get it, you have lemon water every day. 
The reason why I show it to you guys every single day and start my day with it every day is because I want to show you the consistency and I want to sort of lead by example and influence you to be as consistent as I am. I feel like me showing you my consistency will make you feel like you can do it too because you see someone else that's like a normal person that lives a busy life doing it as well. I hope that I answered any questions that you guys have asked me. I wrote them down and tried to like make sure that I went over everything you guys have ever asked me about lemon water because again, I know I post about it a lot. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Feel free to message me on Instagram. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.